All right, so far we've covered the header tag, paragraph, emphasis, strong tags. And in this video, we're going to be looking at list tags. Now I'm gonna delete all this content in my page just to keep this a little bit more tidy. I recommend you leave your code there and just continue on down afterwards, just keep going. But I'm gonna delete that so it's a little bit easier to read. Now we're gonna start out with the first list tag, which is the unordered list, so UL. Now we use this tag back in the example. So I'll open my unordered list tag and I'll close it. And then the first child here is what we call an LI tag or a list item. And I'll just call this item one. And I'll close the list item tag. And I'm gonna add three of these list items. So item two, and finally item three. All right, now I'm gonna just space this down, just close that. So you can see I've tabbed each of these over one tab space from where the UL started because list item is child of UL. And UL is tabbed over one tab space from where the body starts because UL is child of body. So just try to get in that habit. Now I'm gonna save this page and jump back to my web browser and refresh. And now you'll notice it, I've just got my three list items. And list items by default and an unordered list have bullets. So this creates a bulleted list is what that does. Now, right below this, I'm gonna leverage copy and paste because the next series of HTML tags that we're gonna look at are the ordered list and they're very similar. So I'm gonna copy this entire list item, Command C, and come back down here below and Command V to paste. And the only difference between an ordered list and a unordered list is the parent tag here. Ordered is OL, so I have to open the OL and change this to a closing OL, while unordered is UL. So with an OL list, I'll save and refresh again, and you'll see that's just simply ordered, one, two, three, etc. So that's an ordered list and an unordered list. Now, some people may be wondering, can I change the ordering here? And the answer to that is yes. Through CSS, you can change this to use alpha, A through Z, uppercase and lowercase. You can use Roman numerals. You can use the Greek alphabet. So there's several ways to order these lists besides just one through nine. Same thing goes for bullets. You can use solid circles, squares, open circles, open squares, and even custom check marks or something like that. You can use custom images for your list items through CSS if you choose as well. So many ways to style these lists. The third type of list is called a definition list. And uh, let's look at the syntax for it. A definition list is a DL list. So I'm gonna open the DL tag and I'll close the DL tag. So that's a definition list. And it has as children DD, which is a definition. And I'll say, I'll close the DD. And I'll say um, web design. And then the, after that, we have what we call a DL. So these ones are a little bit different. And this is the, um, whoops, sorry, not DL, a DT. And uh, this is the term definition. And let me save that one there. And I've actually got these two backwards. The definition term, which is the DT, comes before the um, definition. So an example of using a definition mist, a list might be like a, a glossary or something where you're defining terms. So I might just define the term as web design and then the definition definition, which is DD, might be the art of mixing code and creativity. So the definition and the term. So let's save this list, jump back to our web browser and refresh. And you can see it just does an indentation. So there's the term and there's the definition. So those are the three types of lists, unordered list, ordered list, and definition lists. Definition lists are often used in terms and glossaries. Unordered lists are often used for just bulleted lists or navigation items.